Looking for magic cards? Channel Fireball offers a wide selection of magic singles and sealed product. You can now use the promo code LVD at checkout. Hello and welcome to another Magic Arena gameplay video. Today we're taking a look at another standard deck and I recorded this footage during the early access event which I was invited to courtesy of Wizards of the Coast at the tail end of a 22 hour stream. And one of the decks that I enjoyed playing during the early access event was this blue-black combo mill deck. And uh, I'll give you a brief rundown of what the deck is trying to accomplish. It's a blue-black mill control deck, but it's not your typical mill deck where you slowly mill the opponent. Instead, it has a combo finish where we try and rely on Teferi's Tulich as a three-man enchantment that uh, mills the opponent whenever we draw a card. So it mills the opponent for two cards whenever we draw one card. And when it enters the battlefield, it also lets us draw and discard, which will mill the opponent for the first time. And then if we have a Teferi's Tutelage in play, we can cast Peer into the Abyss, 7 mana sorcery, target player draws cards equal to half of the number of cards in their library, and loses half of their life, and round up each time. So under most circumstances, if we cast Peer into the Abyss with Teferi's Tutelage in play, we will end up uh, decking the opponent by drawing so many cards that we mill them out with Teferi's Tutelage. And since we're only losing half of our life total, we're not going to be dead to Peer into the Abyss. Sometimes they do have more cards in library than we end up milling with Peer into the Abyss and a single copy of Teferi's Tutelage. So sometimes we will need a second copy of Tutelage or maybe mill them some more by drawing more cards with uh, Tutelage in play beforehand. So that's the combo finish of the deck. And then taking a look at the rest of the deck, we've got some pretty cheap interaction here with Eliminate, a new addition from M21, destroying target creature or planeswalker with convert mana cost three or less. We've got Heartless Act as another spot removal spell. Drown in the Lock can function as both a counter spell or a removal spell. And of course, we're milling the opponent with the tutelage, so we'll end up filling their graveyard to enable Drown. We've got uh, Thought Erasure as a bit of hand disruption. And then at 3 mana, we've got our Teferi's Tutelage. We've got the full playset of Narset Parter Veils, as every single card in the deck is a non-creature spell we can hit with Narset. And then a new addition, Teferi, Master of Time. Very powerful Planeswalker. Can be activated in the opponent's turn as well, so you can play Teferi, plus 1, and then in the opponent's turn, plus 1 again. And maybe minus 3 instead, if that's uh, a better use of your loyalty. And Teferi also synergizes quite well with his own tutelage, which makes uh, a lot of sense as it will start milling the opponent. And uh, yeah, just buys you a lot of time and helps you set up the combo, can discard additional copies of Peer into the Abyss that you don't need. And you typically don't need more than one copy of tutelage, so you can discard additional copies. So Teferi has been pretty good in this deck. And then we've got some sweepers with two copies of Extinction Event and two copies of Ritual of Soot. Not sure which one is better. I did have some games against the White Weenie decks where they had a bunch of 1-drops and 3-drops that all died to Extinction Event. So that was pretty sweet. And even some creatures that would usually leave behind some tokens like Hunted Witness ended up getting exiled. But I could see situations where you would rather have a mix between Ritual of Soot and Extinction Events as uh, one of them can be better in certain situations. And then some copies of Enter the God Eternals as another removal spell that can mill the opponent to enable Drown and gain a bit of life back. And then eventually our four copies of Peer into the Abyss. And then the mana base, we've got uh, one of each castle to keep it nice and symmetrical. Eight islands, eight swamps, four Temple of Deceit and four Watery Graves. So that's our deck, now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Probably gonna need to find the sweepers, my guess. So, cat tribal. So the tutelage is pretty bad with the sovereign coming up. So we'll probably have to put that in the graveyard for now.
<laughs> Did we just draw all four thought erasures? Alright, now I can keep tutelage. And then I can kill the panther. They were about to draw another Sovereign too. Glad we milled it. So now I just need two more land drops. That's pretty good too. If they send both at the ferry, I'll just plus. If they do something different, I might minus. We'll see. So I guess I want to minus in response. What do they get back at this point? Like a Kahira? I guess Feline Sovereign would be bad. Yeah, I guess we'll just... Alright, I'll take it. Funnily enough, the lion survives. Well, I couldn't draw a land to save my life here. And we're just dead to the lions now.
definitely better than Ritual of Soot. I don't mind Spear in the main deck because we have the Fairy to discard it and the Tudor Lich can discard it as well. Too bad. Guess I'll keep land seven in hand for now. Just gonna find tutelage. I guess I keep forgetting that this is phased out, so if I extinction of it now, we don't actually get rid of both. I guess I wait a turn. Don't think I should play it, because I might discard a Tutaferi here. So we've got all the pieces now. Now I hope the math checks out that we actually kill the opponent here. I draw 15, 16, 17. So I mill them for... hmm, not quite enough. So I guess I can play second tutelage and then peer and then kill him next turn. This might take a second. Thank you. 
All right. Oof. All right. So that's the idea behind the deck. The thing we were one land away from doing last game. We seem to be getting matched against a lot of white weenie decks. Extinction event has been pretty good for us. Loxodon also an odd amount. Glorious Anthem I don't like seeing as much. So it's all one drops, glorious anthems, and loxodons. Alright. Possible we want more extinction events and no ritual of soot. Well, we've got all the combo pieces in hand, just about surviving long enough to assemble them. This uh, counterspell, probably. Or an opt. It's probably the counterspell, but. We gotta get through it at some point. Ooh, Spectral Sailor. So, Sultai Flash. Alright. I probably don't need Thought Erasure since their hand's all bad. And they're playing the Enforcer. I probably want to kill... I mean, do I care about Sailor if they draw for 4 mana? Probably not. Probably just want to protect my life total. Not sure if I should... Another Sailor. Yeah, I'll just kill the Paragon. I could keep up Drown. But am I really gonna take 3 here? And then next turn I can Extinction Event naming Odd.
So they'll get to draw one card. Uh oh, did they draw an ambusher maybe? Or a slither wisp? Yep. Can still kill it. Narset's good. Nice answer to Wisp or Ambusher. I shall miss your company. So we just need two lanes. Could just let that untap and then enter God Eternals. Take three damage and then keep this for something else. They don't seem to be playing a whole lot of counter spells, it's all creatures. Well, <laughs> as I mill two counter spells. So I might regret it now. Alright, got punished a little bit here. A little bit hard. Now they can kill their own creature so I don't gain the life. I still get to make the 4-4, four four, so I'm not dead. Not the land I was hoping to draw. This better resolve. Alright. So that should do it. All for the cost of one life. There we go. Well, our uh, combo deck seems to be working. We did play against mostly creature decks. Once we start playing against blue decks with counter spells, it's going to become a lot more difficult. Overall, I've got to say I'm pretty happy with 
the result. Got some nice cheap interaction with Eliminate, Heartless Acts, a Drown doubles up as both a Counterspell and Removal, some Hand Disruption, then two Planeswalkers that do a pretty good job of assembling the different combo pieces. Teferi can discard additional Peer into the Abyss that we don't need. And then uh, the Tutelage, healthy amount of lands, and some sweepers. So, yeah, seems like a pretty straightforward deck and a pretty fun combo kill. So it's a control deck with a twist and uh, a different take on mill instead of slowly milling the opponent. We're trying to do it in one big go with Peer into the Abyss. Of course, we can still slowly mill the opponent with tutelage, especially if we play multiples. But uh, the main idea is to get the two-card combo. Now, there's still a chance that Peer into the Abyss isn't enough to mill the opponent. If we've drawn significantly more cards than the opponent, then uh, this might not be enough. But hopefully that's not too much of a problem. So that's going to be it for me today. I want to thank everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel. And you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.